Hello, Ted12 here. Today we got the third and last part of the Kerbalization of the Space Shuttle videos. We're going to make an SSTO of the Space Shuttle. I just removed the side fuel tanks uh, added an air intake at the front and replaced the standard vector engines of the space shuttle with rapier engines dual mode rapier engines that can work as jet engines and rocket engines this is going to be an air breathing SSTO while it's in the atmosphere and it's going to operate as a rocket outside of it so I said okay that's gonna be easy I'm just going to replace the engines and just put the air intake and it's gonna be fine um, no other change I still got the internal fuel tank inside the cargo bay and so here's my first try everything seems to be going smoothly I was saying to myself at this stage, okay, this is gonna be easy. Yeah, I wasn't sure at this stage what the problem was. So, um, I said, okay, maybe it's too heavy. I got too much fuel. So I, I emptied some of it. and uh, try it with a lighter version of course either the space shuttle was too heavy or this configuration these engines and this thrust to weight ratio either the the wings were too small for it to lift off at the end of the runway at least or there was just not enough thrust which is usually the problem I just tried with a lighter configuration and see what happened but nope no dice Now I'm trying to use the rapier is in close circle rocket mode in order to, to gain more thrust at lower speeds because rapiers uh, get more thrust uh, the faster you go. Yeah, I'm doing some um, experiments here. trying to gather as much speed as I can on the runway before I it ends before I run out of it no speed somehow so I said I'm gonna use the rapiers more in uh, rocket mode gain even more speed and I'm using them now at the half point of the runway It's 
speed is 121 uh, and I'm trying to get off the ground but I'm still falling and I can't do nothing about it oh, I got a bit further in this try Okay, I said I need something. I need more lift, so we're gonna put some more wings up in front. So I chose these canards, three of them, just for testing purposes to see if I was correct about not having enough win wing surface, therefore lift. So I said, okay, let's try this. And I'm not even switching the engine mode. I'm leaving it on air breathing. The speed is as low as always, but with the extra lift, I managed to get it up. I managed to lift the space shuttle off the ground. I know I'm still falling, but I'm not gonna fall in the end because I'm gaining speed. Therefore, I'm, I'm gaining even more lift. Nine meters, eight meters, and starting to climb. worked. Of course putting air surfaces at the front is always dangerous because the center of lift could be moved at the front and in front of the center weight which is uh, a very bad thing to happen. Maybe the worst thing you can do while making an aircraft. Okay, so I'm trying to to go at 400 meters per second. If you actually reach that speed, you're golden. But until you do, you have a problem. It's the transonic to slightly supersonic speed range that is it is the most difficult to achieve it depends on your aerodynamic resistance and uh, how much thrust you got the thrust to weight ratio it's pretty good it's above one already but my aerodynamic resistance just won't let me exceed supersonic speed. So, I decide that I have uh, too many canards up front and uh, all I need is more engines. Which means more thrust. Playing it by ear, I just added two. Trying not to shift the center weight too much to the back. That's basically the last modification I had to do. I also uh, put some 
put everything in keys in order to be able to turn them on and off and switch their mode easily. Oh, and I switched the position of my flag. Yep. And Go again. A little pre flight test. Never hurt anyone. The engine switch mode on their own because I only got one air intake. Then I manually switch them back to their proper mode. And they work fine. So as you can see, my speed is uh, very good. And it's 142 meters per second while leaving the runway. And uh, yeah, I got enough speed and thrust to, to climb easy the hard part but the speed is just keeps climbing all I needed was more thrust more engines that's exactly what I got now I am climbing in altitude and I increase my speed at the same time Thrust way ratio uh, is almost two at this point. And after 400 meters per second, things are easy. It's just smooth sailing. unless something really bad happens when you you make an SSTO you have to have the proper amount of engines for its weight and general characteristics seriously you can't do it any other way and even if you manage with fewer engines, um, the efficiency of the whole flying machine is not going to be as good. She flies very, very smoothly, and that's a nice flyby. She looks like a comet, almost. reaching the top ceiling of the air capabilities of the rapiers that was the wrong button and now I put 
them close mode. Basically to rocket mode for the rest of the trip. Keep that until I go over the atmosphere of Gerbin over 70 kilometers. Like that. The apoapsis is 70. Oh, 81 now. That's above the atmosphere. And it should be perfect for our circularization burn that will complete our orbit our kerbals seem to be fine just checking to see if the side fuel tanks are empty Yeah, sonic boom, I'm still inside the atmosphere. Just barely, but... No, I'm not. No sonic boom. And that's it. We're in orbit with fuel to spare. And a tank full of monopropellant at the back. I haven't used any of it yet. Since this is the third video that was shot in the same day, we can actually see the crater now while we're doing our deorbit burn with the orbital thrusters of the space shuttle to burn some monopropellant. And here we are inside the cabin of the space shuttle. This is Bill. Or Bob. Yeah, I think it's Bill. And we're looking through our eye through the eyes of Jebediah. Yep, that's Jeb. This is Bill. And uh, now uh, we're looking through Bob. This is the girl in the cockpit. Valentina, Bill, and Bob here. Enjoy the Rhinos theme by the one and only Kevin McLeod.
Nailing the landing is always difficult. And we're back home, safe and sound. Oh, and the physics of the game is acting up a bit, but no biggie. So this is the third and final iteration of the space shuttle after the recreation of the original one by me turning it into an SSTO I hope you liked this video if you did please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one. Ted12 out. <laughs>